Good morning, fellow CGRs. Kiaza here. And no, you're not looking at a texture mod for Minecraft. This is a completely different game. This is Fortress Craft. It was developed by Projector Games, and it's on the Xbox Live Marketplace and the Indie Game section for 240 Microsoft points. Uh, a lot of you may be throwing whatever you have in your hand in the air right now because it, you know, to a lot of people, it may seem like a Minecraft knockoff. And in some ways it is. You know, there's some similarities and there's also some differences. But, um, not the same game though. The, uh, the way they were built, the technology behind it, um, completely different. And actually, this game, the basic early concept of this game was started before Minecraft, before not starting Minecraft, so, yeah. But it's, it's a good game. You know, I mean, it's, I'm going to tell you right now, it's got bugs. You know, there's a couple semi-big bugs. Uh, others that are just minor, you know, annoyances that really don't, you know, ruin the game or anything. Um, there's some screen tear. Um, and there's a bug. The biggest bug that's uh, going on right now is if you join a multiplayer game, you lose your single player data. So, yeah. But um, Projector Games is working on a patch for that. Uh, he's very verbal on Twitter. He updates it a lot, so that's a good thing. It's it, he's keeps us up to date with uh, updates and what's going on. This game's been in development for a while and it has been um, submitted for testing uh, quite a few times, and it actually just passed like 48 hours ago. And um, yeah, it's available now. But I'm going to just show you a couple things. There's no fall damage, which is nice. And look at my shadow. Look at that. Oh, wait, who is that guy? That's right. There is avatar support. And the avatar animation is pretty good. For the most part. I prefer, I prefer playing in first person. Um, and there's a lot of options. There's a lot of uh, customization when it comes to how you want the game to run. Uh, if you go to visual settings, you can turn on a whole bunch of stuff and turn off stuff too. The water detail, the draw distance, uh, all this can be customized to make your game run better, you know, on, uh, based on how you want to play it. Um, and there's also, if you check this out, relics, which I haven't found yet. <clears throat> but there are items hidden in the map that you have to look for and you can unlock. And as you can see, there's speed boots, jump boots, jetpack, night vision, ray gun, walk on water, and a and like a miner's headlight, which is cool. Uh, another cool thing is um, uh, this. If, if this is probably more similar to Minecraft Alpha, I'm not sure if anyone here played that, but Minecraft Alpha really didn't have any enemy mobs. You just spawned, and you had blocks in your inventory. And you can see you have blocks in your inventory here. And you can switch between them. There's TNT, and you actually have to find the TNT detonator in the map as well. And you can switch between these blocks and just start building. And there's also lights, magma, brick, and whatnot. Trampoline. I'll give the trampoline now. I'll show you that in a second. <coughs> But the maps that are generated, they are random every time you uh, start a new game. And exploring them is fun. Some of the uh, some of the maps it produces are really interesting and unique. Like some of the land formations are really cool. As you can see, I mean, there's just like there's a lot going on. There's you know floating land masses, but. Um, you'll find that in Minecraft as well. And 
you know, people really shouldn't compare this to Minecraft. I know everyone's going to, and I actually, I find myself comparing to Minecraft a lot, and I really shouldn't be. They're two completely different games. You know, this is on Xbox Live, and the other one's on PC. And obviously, there's hardware limitations for each and um, whatnot. But they're both really different games. It's like, think of it this way. Halo and Call of Duty are both first-person shooters. Yeah, they're both first-person shooters, but they're really different. So, um, now, as you can see, the map um, will load before you. Like, you can actually see it loading. That's not a problem. That doesn't bother me. Oh, I think I just found something. Or no, I didn't. Uh, I just got excited for nothing. And there's a day and night cycle. Um, but yeah, the maps do have their boundaries and their limits. But they're pretty big. The maps are big, and you will be exploring for a while, and you'll have stuff to do. Like build houses and whatnot. And what I will do is I will post a house that I built at the end of this video, just to show you some of the, uh, things you can do. Let me show you this trampoline brick now. Now to place bri uh, bricks or blocks down, um, you use right and left bumper. Left bumper is going to clear a block, and right bumper will place a block. Now this is a trampoline block. Jump on it and voila! You jump. Jump pretty high too. Pretty useful. And I'm just going to delete that because I'm mostly deep about that stuff. And another nice feature is uh, with uh, press of the right analog stick, you can uh, get the type of block that you're currently looking at. Like I'm looking at grass now. I have a grass block. I'm looking at rock. I have a rock block. So I'm just going to kind of fill that in or not. There we go. Now it takes a bit to get used to the uh, interface uh, with the controls and whatnot. Well, it'll take you about like five, ten minutes. You know, I, I was making mistakes and clearing blocks I didn't want to clear, um, and putting down blocks I didn't want to put down. And the lighting's actually really good too. Actually, let me just show you. Like, a, I'll make a cave real quick. here and sometimes you'll be able to see through clear blocks momentarily um, and there's two different like sources of light you got a torch and there's also an electric one which I'm looking for there it is electric light looks really cool there we go look at that that's like really good lighting there Oops, not what I wanted to do. And another thing that was kind of annoying that I noticed is if you put a torch down or a, a lamp of sorts, uh, the only way to really delete it is to put a block where it uh, where it is. Kind of annoying. I can look past that though. This is an indie game, and um, but it's it's a fun indie game. See, that's what I'm saying. Like you'll you'll sometimes put blocks on wanting to clear a block and. Um, Vice versa. Alright, well, I'm in a multiplayer game now. Um, I, uh, they're building some stuff. I'm not really messing with it. I just wanted to show you what multiplayer was like. Uh, I'm not sure where these guys are now. But I made like this little gold house. Game seems to run a bit. Uh, it's a bit laggy online. I mean, it's not like horrible lag, but you can see uh, a bit of a difference. Just wanna go see where these guys are. I wonder if they found any relics. I've been looking for relics like all morning, and I can't find them anywhere. There's one guy. I 
Oh, and there's a torch. Yeah, it's a bit laggy, but uh, I'm willing to bet that with uh, you know a few updates, it'll be better. I think I need some windows. Mm -hmm. Oh, he just left. But anyway, this is multiplayer. Just joined. Right, now I want to show you. He's got actually pictures of what the next chapters are going to somewhat look like. It's going to be PvP. And there they are. There's the minecarts, and then you can't really see the minions, but um, they're there, and they're all over the place. Now, for an indie game, like, I'm taking, now, my score is going to be based on a couple things here. Um, one, based on the fact that it's an indie game. Two, I'm basing this on the price point, which is only 240 Microsoft points. Um, and the effort, as well. Um, and for an indie game, there's a lot of depth. And uh, I can see myself playing this for a while. Uh, especially when the later chapters come out. So I'm going to give this game an 8 out of 10. I suggest downloading the trial and trying it. It's only 240 Microsoft points. It's well worth it. It's damn worth it. So try it out. Download it and support this guy because the more support that this guy gets, the better this game will get. This has been Kiazna for Community Gamers. Stay tuned for more news, reviews, contest videos, and everything that's awesome, basically. Take it easy, guys.